Hey guys, I'm gonna make a quick video because I actually have to leave. Um, if you have this old Gordak 952 soldering station, and uh, let me show you what the board looks like because a lot of uh, boards are different or they're in different places and uh, this one is probably the older version. I think I bought this at least 13 years ago. Okay, so that is on back of the soldering station. So this is the back and it's mounted there. And then over here is another small circuit board with the digital display. Um, I forgot which one is is which one of these for the solder gun one of these for the heater and what was happening was when i plugged in the plug the machine uh displayed a red light uh red led and the display came on and the um the heat gun got very hot probably at maximum temperature and I didn't even turn on the switch okay now of course I checked the switch first and it wasn't a problem I even pulled out all the wires to the switch and that wasn't the problem then I pulled out the red and black wire that's going you know one is red and black and one is red and that's going to the heat gun I also pulled them out and it still got hot and it still came on okay if you do all of that and it's still coming on then you have a short circuit on this board all right and I'll show you which one it is let's see if I can show you Get these wires out of your way I can okay bear with me because Okay, so in the bottom right corner, you see this blue thing? I don't know what it is because I can't see the writing on it. But anyway, it's right above that. And, uh, oh God, what is it again? I forgot what chip it is. I, I don't know. But it's got three legs on it and this is it here. I'm sorry, I forgot what you call it. But anyway... This chip is shorted out. I don't think I could do this with one hand, but I'll try. Now, if this chip is shorted out on two legs, then you'll definitely have a problem. And the problem you will have is exactly what I'm describing to you. This probably isn't going to work. Let me see if I could somehow set this phone up here. Okay, that might be good enough. Sorry about that, but... Uh, okay, so let's touch these together. I don't know if you can hear that beep, because sometimes the phone will cancel it out. But my meter is reading zeros, and I got it on diode. So if I go from the middle to here, I get 381. And remember, that's on diode. Okay, but, and that's not shorted, but if I go from the middle to the other side, the meter beeps and I get all zeros. So even if I switch this, The meter beeps, I get all zeros. Okay, so that's that's a short. If I go from there to here, I get 381. If I go from here to here, I get 381. And that's because this one is bridged to this one. Or else I would have got a different reading. Okay, so this is the chip. Let's see if I can zoom in. I don't... Uh-oh. Hold on one second. So I can 
zoom in, but I can't move the screen. Okay, so you should be able to see the the number on this chip. If you're using the cell phone, just pause the video and pinch your screen open and you'll be able to make the video large. I just ordered 10 of these from Amazon and I know it's going to work because after I remove this chip, I'm going to, let's just call it a chip, right? That's not what you call it, but after I removed it, I connected all the wires back and I plugged in the plug and the machine doesn't turn on anymore until I turn on the power button you know I flip the power switch that turns on the um, you know the heat gun so I definitely know I'm 110% sure that this chip is causing that problem and it is shorted out I'll try to make another video of it working um, also, I have another problem with this, well, I don't know if this is part of the problem, but when I turn on the air, what will happen is the, the heat that's going through uh, the gun, it, uh, the temperature drops a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean probably to about 120 degrees from like 500 degrees so i don't think that's supposed to happen i think something is supposed to regulate the uh, amount of uh, heat even though you have that fan on and then when you lower the fan then it should lower the heat you know so it doesn't burn out it doesn't burn out the coils uh when i say coils i mean uh, this part here let me just try to zoom out okay so uh, this part here and this is what mine looks like and I also changed this because that could be causing problems too with um, you know uh, maybe the part of this piece here is uh, maybe these two wires the black ones they could be the temperature gauge that's built in here maybe I'm just guessing uh, you could probably hook a meter to here I don't know what you would set it on but maybe I'll I'll try that later, and then uh, maybe get a hair dryer and blow the hair dryer on it and see if your meter goes up. I'm pretty sure that this black and red wire is the heating element because they're stiff, really stiff. Okay. Let's see if I can try. All right. I took this out because it looked a little melty here, and. Um, I'm not even sure if this is the right one, and I'm not sure if I I put the right one in there, but it does glow really, really bright, and it does get very, very hot. Uh, but the package says 220 to 240, and this machine is only a 110. So this this one, even the original one, which may not be original, I may have already changed this, um, this can also be the wrong one because this one is registering different than the new one. The new 220 I just put in there. But it seems to light it up. So I think that I, I got to try to get the right one for this. All right, because uh, I don't think a 220 should be in here when the machine says 110 on the power supply. I don't know if you could see that because I'm I'm on the other side and it I mean it doesn't look like you could see it but all right so anyway um, that's about it I guess so when I get the part this part here I will put it in and um, I'll get back to you next video and we'll see if it works all right